I think that's my cue to start. How are we doing, New York Comic Con? Very exciting. Uh, we, uh, we debuted this game at San Diego Comic Con, and now there are at least 50 times the amount of people watching than there were then. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are already better than the San Diego crowd. <laughs> as, as if that were a question. As if that were a question. We, uh, yeah, we played it at San Diego, then we played it again at Gen Con. We are so excited to play it again today. Uh, show of hands, how many people have got their hands on the Marvel Multiverse, multiverse role-playing game? It is fantastic, and we play <laughs> way too many role-playing games. So uh, <laughs> I think you're really going to like it today. We've got about an hour and a half to do a quick little uh, spooky-themed Friday the 13th Halloween adventure. Uh, but let me introduce you to my cohorts today. Uh, I'm Troy LaValle from the Glass Cannon Network. Woo! And, uh, yeah, buddy. I just had surgery 72 hours ago and shouldn't be here. <laughs> so I'm not my he, usual. He really shouldn't be here. <laughs> blood just pouring out of my stomach right now. But <laughs> apologize in advance if I'm not my normal fun self. But think about it. You'll all be able to say we were there. You were there. <laughs> the night Troy LaValle died on stage. Died on stage. <laughs> the night Troy LaValle bled out while playing a role-playing game. <laughs> I did stand up for a lot of years in New York. I died on stage a lot. But tonight, <laughs> could really I will actually die, but that's why I have 19 players to pick up the slack. <laughs> uh, first, uh, we'll start to my far right. Joe, introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. I'm Joe O'Brien, also from the Glass Cannon Network. Very excited to jump back into this. This, like Troy said, we play way too many role-playing games, and I do not want to sound like a shill, but it's going to come out that way. This game is legit. So good. When we were on the, I was on the train on the way here. I could not wait to start playing this game again. Just based on the mechanics alone, it is so fun to play and to put on the suits of these superheroes and roll these dice. It just, it feels like you're making a story, a real story every time. It's awesome. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yes. Woo! Good Shoot! job, Marvel. CJ. CJ. Uh, I'm Matthew Capricazzo, also from the Glass Can Network. Uh, gl very glad to be here. Thanks to Marvel for having us. Woohoo! Woo hey, I'm Sydney Emanuel, also from the Glass Cannon Network, and same. <laughs> sa what, what they said, also Woo. for me. And same. And <laughs> end. I'm Skid Mar, I'm Glass Cannon, and yeah. The, and this game really is awesome. <laughs> I want to echo what Joe said. It's really great. Woo! 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 I'm Jim Zub. I'm not from the Glass Cannon Network. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> Combo breaker. Um, but I do write comic books for Marvel. Sure. And it is a Woo! joy to do so yep. on many titles like Uncanny Avengers, Avengers. Uh, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Mm -hmm. Conan. Champions, Conan the Conan. Barbarian. Yep. All sorts of really, really fun stuff. And I am super pumped. I have been playing Marvel RPG since the original, and this one yes. is a new favorite. Cannot wait for you guys to check out what we have for you today. Thank yeah, you for having Yeah, Jim. Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Lowe. I am the Spider-Man editor at Marvel, Woo. and I am tangentially on the Glass Cannon Network. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on I Skid GM's a game called Legacy of the Ancients uh, that, that a bunch of us play in. We kick Troy out. Uh, pre-surgery because uh, we thought we knew he could, he'd die um, but it's, it's so much fun to be here and playing this awesome awesome man. I was reading the, the, my bits again cramming on the subway today and I was like I can do what <laughs> get out of here yeah, in uh, San Diego, we made our own original heroes, and that's fun. Like, I played the game in the 80s. That was the best part. We never even played the adventure. We just made the heroes. But then at Gen Con, and again today, we're playing established heroes because sometimes it's just fun to be Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to jump right in. Um, and we're also going to be doing a giveaway here at the end. I think everybody got raffle tickets on the way in. Um, so there'll be a little, uh, little giveaway oh. of this. If you don't win, just go buy it. We're only giving out one. <laughs> Uh, all it, right. So it really is a beautiful book. It yeah. is beautiful. Today is Friday the 13th, but we're going to flash forward in time. We see the skyline of New York City. It's early evening. We'll say there's a, a low fog hanging over the East River of Manhattan. The lights of all the skyscrapers in the distance look like eyes looking through the fog. Ba-boom. October 31st. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we flash to the East Village of Manhattan where kids dressed in costumes walk up to bodegas and yell, trick-or-treat! The guy behind the counter gives them 
cigarettes or pocket knives. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Halloween is terrible in New York for kids. It's not New a, York! It's not a city for children. <laughs> <laughs> they literally walk up to like hair salons and ask, go trick or treat, and they're like, here's some pomade. <laughs> <laughs> So we see this sad uh, Halloween uh, in this in this awful city, and uh, <laughs> from there, one by one, we'll be introduced to our characters uh, for today's story. <coughs> so let's go. Uh, we'll start with Nick this time. Let's let us know who you're playing and where are you in and around the five boroughs of Manhattan today. My name is Jennifer Walters. <laughs> but you might know me as a sensational She-Hulk. Woo! Yeah. Ow, ow. I, I work uh, at my, my own law firm where I'm a partner, uh, Book and Walters Law Firm. We represent a lot of um, powered individuals on both sides of the law, and that the law is what I practice, and, I, and practice has already made perfect. So, very glad to hit, see you all. So, we're, I'm at my, uh, my law office downtown dealing with uh, the Rhino's 14th ticket this month. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what about you, Jim? Who are you playing today? Uh, today, I'm playing... I literally get to decide, what would Steve Rogers do? I'm playing Captain America, <laughs> Sentinel of Liberty. <laughs> Don't tell anyone a Canadian is playing your American superhero, but right? it's true. <laughs> huh? And Steve is helping to direct traffic... That is a huge problem. <laughs> there was a huge traffic jam on the streets between bus and multiple uh, trucks. People started swearing and speaking out of turn, and Steve stepped forth. He was uh, buying himself a street dog and looked over and realized, oh, no, there's traffic that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> he stepped forth, discussed it between uh, the parties, and they came to an agreement, and everyone's sort of backing up their vehicles at this moment, and he's waving through <laughs> school children so that they're not late. Do you think he's making more traffic because everyone's like, is that Captain America <laughs> as he's a like, crossing guard? Unfortunately, citizen, I do not have time for selfies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what about and, you, uh, I am playing uh, one Pyotr Nikolaevich Brasputin, Woo! otherwise known as the Colossus. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he is an X-Man, and but today he's in New Jersey. Uh, he is at the Meadowlands. Uh, the Jets are holding open tryouts. <laughs> and he, is, uh, he really wants to see if he can uh, hold his own at uh, defensive tackle. <laughs> his rule that he made for himself is he will not turn into his metal form. <laughs> Love it. My, my, my main fear about doing this after surgery was laughing of, at whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> now I regret sitting next to you. Uh, Cindy, who are you playing? <sighs> well, I'm in fifth period. Ugh. I'm at Midtown High School in Forest Hill, Queens. And I just can't wait to get out because it's Halloween. And uh, yeah, I don't know. My best friends and I are probably going to go trick-or-treating or something later. Unless I have to put on my, you know... <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. I'm Peter Parker. <laughs> Matthew Capricazzo, who are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Dr. Hank McCoy, a.k.a. Beast. Woo! Uh, and uh, Dr. McCoy uh, popped in uh, from Cocoa, Cocoa via the Washington Square gate. Uh, he was going to catch a performance of Mahler's second at Lincoln Center. And then <laughs> maybe then if he times it right, he's going to hop over to Empire State to watch a symposium on accelerated radioactive isotope decay. Uh, and then if time allows, maybe a nice glass of wine, if anyone would care to join. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Joe, who are you playing today? Uh, I will be playing the android known as Vision. Yes. Uh, or the Vision. Vision is uh, from Arlington, Virginia, and is up here briefly in New York City uh, to take a few very important meetings. But right now, I think he's taking a, a break from those meetings at Avengers Tower and is meeting Dr. Hank McCoy for a glass of wine oh. uh, <laughs> in the East Village. Uh, so just just uh, on this one Halloween of my favorite evening. Vintage's vision. Yes, exactly, and uh, yeah, so we're just just uh, chilling there in New York briefly before he has to head back. Awesome. All right, so you're uh, kind of all over the place. One of you's in Jersey um, <laughs> <laughs> at tryouts for the Jets. <laughs> Ooh, I can very easily get back into Manhattan if I have to, though. <laughs> Uh, so we'll say, Captain, as you're, uh, as you're sitting there directing traffic, uh, helping trick-or-treaters 
get by dressed probably you do not need you. to honk quite so steadily citizen thank you <laughs> no are you in costume thank and you. everything are you yes of okay. course <laughs> <laughs> there's several little captain americas running by with That's their right. uh, little pumpkin baskets well done sentinel of liberty <laughs> <laughs> and you get a uh, a call on your uh, a video phone pardon me <laughs> it's uh it's a call from blade oh, oh. whoa blade comes up and he's like, uh, hey, Cap, sorry to bother you, but I need It's never your... a bother. <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need your help. I've been uh, tracking this coven of vampires for the past few months, watching them from the shadows. Their dealings have been relatively benign, but recently their patterns have changed. Before I left town, I saw them meeting with Baron Mordo. Baron Mordo. Ooh. That's right. The mystical villain who battles Dr. Stephen Strange. The very one. Thank you for the exposition, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> for the benefit of people standing around yeah, waiting for right. you to wave a truck for <laughs> He's explaining to the fifth graders. He may not actually be a Baron. Go on. <laughs> it also gives Joe time to Google him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> After Jim, I, uh, <laughs> keep up the good work, please. <laughs> After I uh, saw that meeting, I slipped trackers on two of them so I could watch their movements while I was out of town. There's Are you wondering if that's a legal operation? Don't worry. In this particular case, because they were committing criminal activity, it is allowed. I wasn't wondering, but that's good to know, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's been a noticeable shift in their behavior in the last 24 hours. I don't know exactly what they're up to, but if what I fear is correct... Innocent lives could be at risks. It looks like they're gathering in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. There's a small bridge over a pond in the park. Underneath that bridge on the south side is a hidden Go entrance on. that goes deep below the city. That's very specific. It is. Yeah. I will send you the coordinates. There are old crypts down there. These ancient burial grounds are not known to many, and that is where they are right now. I don't know if Mordo is with them or not, but either way, it's bad news. I'm already sprinting, basically. Like, as I just, <laughs> just look over, the phone I see an that. actual traffic cop, and I just sort of point at him, and I give him the, like, Captain America glance up. You just got <laughs> drafted, pal. And so that guy is doing the traffic. And then I'm just my job, but breaking into a full <laughs> sprint, you know, going to slide over top of some person's hood while they're taking photos of me, and I'm just... I'm already on the way. What do you need from me? I imagine you're on the Upper West Side, so it's going to take a while. No longer. Run. I'm moving four blocks past that. <laughs> I've flown, uh, flown all the way to Columbus Circle. Uh, Blade says, listen, I'm just outside of Pittsburgh, making my way back to New York as fast as I can, but this requires immediate attention. Can you gather a very random group of superheroes? <laughs> Whoever's available right now, just point at names on your phone and start texting. <laughs> and tell them to meet you at this bridge in Prospect Park. The good news is, with these gloves, I can still use my phone, and I have, oops, those are uncanny Avengers. Uh, good enough. I've got some people in mind. Wait, is that the title of the group chat? Good enough? Good enough. Uncanny <laughs> <laughs> Avengers, the good enoughs. The good enoughs. That's right. All right, so you send a group Oh, good text. enough, yes. I yes. know these people. <laughs> the good enoughs. And in one of those buses, maybe, just maybe, there is a young teenage superhero. <gasps> oh. Wait, you don't text me? Yeah, you got a text while you're on the bus. Oh, that's right. I thought you were just saying you see me on the bus, and I was like, I'm not even in the group. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Man, I'm trying so hard. Peter gets a text, and he has a special ringtone for this group chat. <gasps> he almost drops his phone. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop the bus. Sorry, sorry. And he like runs and he gets off the bus. MJ, Ned, I'll talk to you guys later. I can't explain now. I got to go. Bye. And uh, he quick changes uh, behind in an alley into his Spider-Man suit. And he's, you know, as he exits the alley, he's like pulling up <laughs> one boot and he's trying to get there faster than anybody else. <laughs> so he can be on a bench and be like, oh, hey guys. Uh, I'm, I didn't know that. I, if you all got the text, that's crazy. 
<laughs> That's crazy. I was going to role play the whole conversation with the bus driver being like, I can't stop the bus here. <laughs> that would have been a fun five minutes, but it's over now. Uh, you guys are drinking wine in the West Village or wherever, and uh, you get this text. Vision, Vision gets it directly in his mind. That's the best part. It just comes in front of his eyeballs. and you know, oh, oh, I think we're going to have to leave this glass of Chablis. <laughs> duty, <laughs> duty calls. I'm finishing mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> and B, uh, and B yeah. starts swinging out. So he'll down it and uh, any call from Steve Rogers, like, you got to do what you got to do. So he'll just... <laughs> And then he just takes off into the clouds and flies. Would have appreciated a ride. (laughs) I will see you there. (laughs) Just leaving Beast at this outdoor cafe. Beast is like trying to hail a cab. With the check, by the way. (laughs) You got this right. (laughs) And then we uh, go to the law offices of uh, Jennifer Walters. Are you... uh, when you get this text, are you in the courtroom? She is in her office. Rhino is sitting in her... She has a very small office. Mallory Book, who is her co-partner, like, who started the law firm, hates her. And so she's given her this tiny office that she barely fits in. And the Rhino is also squeezed into this tiny office. And he's talking to her, telling her all her problems, and she is so bored beyond her mind. <laughs> she got the information she needed 25 minutes ago, but he won't stop talking. And then the phone buzzes, and she is so thrilled to see a message from Captain America. Uh, sorry, Rhino. I've got to go. It's Avengers business. Uh, and she, before he can even say anything, she kind of like jumps over him out into the hall, runs past Awesome Andy and Mallory Book, goes out the door. And then one of the things I love about my character's stats on here, she has, uh, let's see, she's got jump... Uh, uh, jump three, oh, is, jump three is one of her powers. So in one single jump, she can go, she can jump 1,200 feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it is, it is seven miles to Prospect Park from the, from the Lower East Side. So in 30 jumps. Did you just jumps, go on Google Maps? Today? I did. I did. <laughs> so, that's why I have my phone out here. I was, I was trying not to be rude by my phone out calculating the mileage and then dividing into feet. So in 30, almost 31 jumps she is what she needs to get to Prospect Park. And that's why he's a Marvel editor, everyone. That's right. <laughs> and wouldn't you say that she probably destroyed roughly 30 things or people <laughs> on the way? Uh, each time she lands. It's and, like but the every time she does, she leaves her legal card in with it. Like, Sorry about that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and finally, if we need representation for the lawsuit against me, just give me a call. Yeah. Finally, we flash to the Meadowlands where uh, Colossus is in line to uh, take snaps as first offensive tackle and you get this uh, text from... I, fi- I think I'm on the sidelines. I'm like taking a swig of Gatorade surrounded by uh, the moaning corpses of a bunch of uh, <laughs> offensive linemen. <laughs> uh, and so I get this text, and he's just like, oh, wait, oh, coach, 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 coach. Uh, yeah? I, sorry, I have group text from Gudonov, and um, as much as fun as it is to play with the football for the Jets of New York, I have <laughs> other responsibilities. I probably should have said something before I uh, put half of your offensive line on IR. But um, I have to go. Sorry. Bye. And I have jump one. So he's just going to keep jumping. Until 490 he... jumps later. Yeah. Well, until he gets to the Hudson, and he's just going to sink and just walk across until he gets to Brooklyn. All right, so you take a couple leaps, land in the Hudson, walk across the floor of the Hudson. I'm just imagining the alternative is Colossus on NJ Transit. I know. I can, I can do it. I can. Just, yeah, the session's over for you at that point. <laughs> Jersey trap. Uh, all right, you climb up, climb out around Battery Park, make your way across the bridge. Eventually, one by one, you all arrive at Prospect Park, following the coordinates that Captain America sent to you that were sent to him by Blade. And you all arrive outside this... Who's in Pittsburgh? Who's in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. It's I, very specific. Uh, yeah. He's got something going... There's Don't a big vampire community there. Up. There That's is. Right. Big yeah. vampire community. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. The vampires. <laughs> yes. The, the vampires. vampires. <laughs> 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 <Sorry>. Pittsburgh vampires. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> Took Sorry. me a second. Pittsburgh vampires. <laughs> you, uh, oh, and I'm happy, boo. boo. <laughs> You're hurting my stitches. You wait outside the, uh, the Lullwater Bridge. It's later at night now. 
It's almost at the time where the park is going to be closed to the public. I imagine you all arrive, arrive semi-discreetly. Cap. <laughs> discreetly. <laughs> discreetly. Some of you bounding, some of you flying. I'm like seven feet tall, blue fur. <laughs> <laughs> as discreetly as possible. Uh, in, a, in a city that expects superheroes around every turn. Cap, you see your crew, Vision, Spider-Man, Colossus, She-Hulk, and Beast. What do you guys say to each other outside this bridge? So Blades in Pittsburgh, eh? <laughs> Apparently, there are, there is a, I won't recap here because we're on a tight timeline. Because we're on a tight timeline. But She Hulk looks out to the group of people at New York Comic Con uh, listening to this story, be like, it is a pretty tight timeline. We got to get you out of this room in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Lo. Well done. Nice. Uh, so, uh, Captain, is this like a, like a secret? mission or like an initiation mission or it's not just a secret mission it's a dark halloween mission oh is that he like looks around is that like a code word have you ever interacted with vampires uh you're joking right <laughs> when Come on, you, Kim. I, I am not joking i don't even know how to joke <laughs> <laughs> uh no, uh, Captain, I, <laughs> I have not. Well, good news. You're with experienced vampire hunters. I sort of look over. We've dealt with them before. I wouldn't call myself a vampire hunter. More of a researcher. Well, I'm a uh, medical doctor. I, I, I'd like to take a. I'd like to roll a die. Could I roll a, a logic test? Yeah, I roll to to know, <laughs> see what I know about vampires. Yeah. This is a role playing game. We don't roll dice here. What are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm just going to do a logic check, and I am a freaking genius. <laughs> what is your logic? What is your... Uh, well, my logic is five, but I get plus two to any check to know anything. Oh, that's just, great. It's amazing. <laughs> that's great. My uh, logic is plus, six. Plus, I have an eidetic memory. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah. 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 So I have an eidetic memory, which it says literally in the book, it's like, if you as the player forget something, the GM has to tell you. The narrator has to tell oh, you, because well, you have an so eidetic useful. memory. Because yeah. <laughs> Troy knows everything. He does. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so that is is a, it's a nine, 16 for it's a me. 19 for Beast. Okay. You're both very smart. I imagine Vision, you get your information more like it would be in an encyclopedia. Just like... Yeah. Whereas Beast, you this is learned knowledge. Uh, almost every vampire who exists today can trace their origins back to a single vampiric monster named Varane. This monster was summoned into the world tens of thousands of years ago by a dark At Atlantean cult and it didn't take long for him to seed his monstrous influence throughout the globe. Now there are thousands of vampires all over the world, um, and uh, they're spread across dozens of secretive sects. Uh, sometimes they are classy human aristocrats, sometimes they are just mist and bats, uh, but they're nasty creatures and they're bloodthirsty. Um, they will sometimes, I'll just let you know, one of the traits they have is bloodthirsty, which means they will continue attack, they have to like fight themselves to not continue attacking you after you go down. Mm. Ooh, that's deadly. As soon as Cap mentioned the vampires, She-Hulk takes her glasses off, rubs her, the, what do you call the thing above your nose, between Pin your eyes? Pinches the bridge of your Pinches nose. the bridge of her nose. There's two things I hate about vampires, Cap. Just two? There's two, well, mainly two. One, if they somehow find a way to pierce my skin and uh, drink my gamma-irradiated blood, we're in deep trouble. Two, when you fight vampires, blood gets everywhere, and that's so hard to get out of these clothes. <laughs> this, that my shirt is white. Do you know how hard it's going to be to get blood out of this? <laughs> we all have the crosses we must bear. <laughs> it's too bad we don't have some now. That's right. <laughs> Coming handy. <laughs> well done. Well done. That's good. <laughs> Can we retroactively say we have these crosses he mentioned? <laughs> They're physically bearing crosses. It's actually Easter, not Halloween at all. We're doing Sorry. a passion play for Halloween. That's right. Right. Can, we, <laughs> can we dash across the street to Union Market to pick up some garlic? <laughs> Are any of you canonically Christian? You may have a cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we 
are in Prospect Jacob. Park. We are in Prospect Park. I think that's illegal. I don't think you can just chop down trees in Prospect Park. Uh, uh, Shield nope. says, Spider-Man, uh, you might not have had too many Avengers missions yet, which is fine. Uh, we can generally, we can chop down a couple trees here. It'd be okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't want to do anything that, you know, Captain, you wouldn't like. Or um, So is this not an initiation mission? Or am I, like, on call? I... I mean, I have you uh, as a, I don't want, <clears throat> yes. Right, I'm in the group chat, the, <laughs> the good enough group chat. You know we can see the, the group name that you made it, oh, right? That, no, that's just the uh, spell uh, correct. It's a typo. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Phew. Good, good ones was what it was supposed to be. Not enough, enough. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Got it. So what's the plan? We're we gonna. I'll swing in there. I'll round them up. Are you guys? Um, are we putting them in jail? Do you put vampires in jail? First, we need to investigate before we make a decision in terms of our combat strategy. Totally. Luckily, we have the vision with us, and he can phase through matter. Wait here, please. <laughs> and he will phase through matter. <laughs> <laughs> Any matter. <laughs> so you uh, like walk up to the edge of the bridge where you can see. Like, the imper- so there's the edge of this bridge. You said yeah. there was an entrance that goes below the city. Yeah, you Is can see the imperceptible line of a doorway leading like into the bridge itself. All right, yeah. So he's just going to like... Oh, I just passed through the doorway. That is the canonical sound effect, too. That's the best part. (laughs) You pass through the doorway, and there is a staircase that just goes straight down. Hmm. Kind of and winds it, as it goes. And if I turn around, I will reform uh, into a you know fully physical form. And is the door just openable from the inside uh-huh. to everybody? All right, so he'll just open it up uh, and say, nothing here yet, but there are stairs descending. I'll go. Uh, and he'll start going down the stairs. All right, so you start heading down the stairs, and they go, just keep winding and winding deep, deep beneath the city. You go for a mile before uh, you start to think that it's opening up into an actual chamber. Okay, so after getting down that far, he will then, again, he will phase out and fly back up through the stairwell, shoop, 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 all the way back to everyone else and explain what he saw and that it's opening up underground. And during that time, I didn't hear anything. No, no. When you got to the bottom, the space started to open up a little bit, and you, maybe the faint sounds of something in the distance, but you didn't see anything. Blah! What about light? Is it completely <laughs> dark <laughs> down there? Blah! <laughs> What about light? Is it lit down there? Uh, no light. No light. All right, he'll come back up. It is very dark down there. While, while Vision was uh, going down there, she walks over to Beast. Hey, Dr. McCoy, looking good. How you doing? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. I, I just recently trimmed my hair fur. Ooh, it, <laughs> it shows, and you look excellent. Oh, I appreciate the compliment. Now, Hank, what's the story with uh, tall, dark, and handsome over there? She points over to Colossus. I'm not there yet. Oh, you're not there? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still making your way from Jersey? Oh, no. He's still, on NJ Transit. I only have jump one. I'm still trying. He's waiting to transfer to Caucasus. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I got to transfer I, to the, the F, I guess. I guess, uh, <laughs> looking good, Hank. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Is that white? It, it, it is. It's, uh, it's very thick silk. Wait, what? Are you wearing a shirt under your shirt? No, 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 no shirt. No second shirt under here. Is that a stain? You have like a little bit of red or something. It does look red, doesn't it? She looks out at the audience. I knew I shouldn't have worn this shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath her, her, her thick silk, she opens up and she's got a Spider-Man shirt on underneath <laughs> it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Peter Parker is like, oh my gosh, you're wearing my... My merch, and it's like <laughs> knockoff merch. Oh my God. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. This is so cool. I'm a huge fan of yours too. Spidey. I have your big fists. <laughs> it's like your bit, like the fists. Now those are uh, licensed and official. Yeah, they make the I noise make, and everything. I make a pretty pretty penny off there. You want to? I can give you some advice later about uh, your licensing work. Oh, that would be okay. <laughs> Jennifer did my will. <laughs> I, I appreciate the extensive mentorship and friendship being shown across <laughs> however there are still vampires and Blade's uh, tension in his voice indicated that we should deal with this 
in a very short, say, panel length amount of time. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Colossus shows up. <laughs> And he's not wearing his uniform. He's wearing his practice jersey that they gave him at Jets camp. And he's, got he's a, soaking wet. He's soaking wet, and he's got a duffel bag with his like pads and stuff in it. <laughs> Holy shit. I am so sorry. I am so sorry to be so late. Well, I heard there's vampires. Let's smash some vampire heads. <laughs> Shio goes up. Nice shirt, metal metal man. Oh, oh! I forgot I was wearing. Oh no, coach will be so mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> all I think right. coach. I think coach will be all right given the state of things. With that, I don't with know, he's already pretty board. mad. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, so what's the uh, plan? Vision is scouted out. He seems. <laughs> it says a, a mile down is where it starts to open up down there. What do you and mean? it's you very said dark. It's, you said it's pitch black. Pitch down black there. down there. You're gonna have to uh, use your running lights, Vision. Yeah. All right. Uh, he will provide that. So, do, do we have to just walk down there? Yes. Do we have to like go walk down the stairs <laughs> very right. slowly. Walk All down right, the stairs. Uh, Beast will kind of like swing over the railing, and he'll kind of like swing from railing to railing. To Amazing. Get That's faster. fun. Uh, hey, uh, Colossus, is that right? Colossus. Oh uh, yes, you can call me Colossus. Do you wanna? Do you wanna go first, or should I? I oh mean, no! Please, let this first. All right, here we go. Or I'll go. Vision, you light the way. I'll, I'll go right after you. <laughs> yeah. So he'll <laughs> uh, he'll lead the way down, staying uh, in physical form, and light the way. Sweet. Great. Uh, she Hulk and he's Colossus. basically like projecting his energy uh, power at a very very low. Wattage. I was just gonna say like a di- <laughs> like the microwave set it to ten yeah. percent or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Like he's steady, but it's not harming <laughs> anything. It's just a dim defrost. If you could, that would be great. <laughs> uh, she Hulk and Colossus have to crouch. This uh, old stairwell is cramped. Uh, it was made for much smaller people. Ooh. So you start going down, and like I said, it's a mile, so it takes some time. From time to time, you might come to a landing uh, that has another door that you have to open and go down, and then another landing. Uh, and the, the further down you go, the more and more ancient the doors look. There might be uh, some what What is this rooms. from? When, when was this built? Like, is this something that, would, that somebody like Vision would know? Like, is there an old... Um, like legend of this place or anything like the that. The Thomas Jefferson lay all this down. <laughs> it's all yeah. Jefferson put this here. No, even Blade said like this goes back. Most people don't even know about it. Uh, so this could be part of a uh, like pr- probably built vi- by the vampires. It seems it seems like that. Okay. Um, eventually, uh, it levels out and opens into a large chamber, which is dark. However, deep deep within the chamber, you do see flickering light and shadows. But up ahead, it's like thick cobwebs and dust coating the surface of everything. There are burial niches in the walls, like that first level in Skyrim, you know, where the (laughs) Draugr come out and stuff. Um, But they're empty of bodies. Uh, Those of you with extra sensitive senses, like Spider-Man, you can smell a coppery tinge in the air. I say this out loud. Hey, guys, it's kind of like my domain, spider webs and stuff. I can smell like a coppery tinge in the air. I don't know what that means. Like, like blood? Oh, no, that makes totally. Yep, that's it. (laughs) Nailed it. Um, All right, so I smell blood. Captain? Not terribly surprising. Vision? Let's keep moving. After you. Uh, He'll walk deeper toward these like flickering lights. I'm going to do a. Uh, vigilance check just to see if I can tell what those lights are as I'm walking yeah. closer to them. Ooh, Marvel on the Marvel die. Oh, there you Whoa. go. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What does that mean, Joe? Uh, I don't know for a vigilance check, but it's <laughs> typically it represents like a critical success. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. success. Fantastic yeah, success. Uh, so with a vigilance, that is a 15 vigilance. Okay. Um, since it was a fantastic success, I'll give you a little more information. It looks like a uh, light that would come from torches that are hanging in sconces on the wall. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll say that you even see like elongated shadows in the distance like dancing on the walls and you can hear a uh, chanting sound uh, from deep deep within the chamber is there any specific words or is it just kind of a general din um, it's, it's, it, if it's a language it's, it's indiscernible it seems to be more moany and like oh, more is it in like English? Gregorian 
Uh, it, 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 if it's in is it English, in English, Japanese, or Russian? <laughs> neither. And neither <laughs> of those, yeah. If anything, it's just sounds. Um, let's say you move forward through this labyrinthine sure. old... Don't thing. railroad us, Troy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These people are here for us to obsess over the torch yeah. times. Come on now. <laughs> Can I do another check on those torches? No. <laughs> Can, we, Can we just role play hanging out for the next 60 minutes? No, let's just have... This yeah. seems like a good rave spot. <laughs> yeah, is, there, is there any loot? Uh, there's no loot. Uh, okay. you, can, you can loot the corpses <laughs> later. Um, you walk ahead and... Everything sort of turns, so you can't, you can't see the chamber up ahead of you until you turn, and then like it, it opens up again where you can see a piece of an, a chamber up ahead, but eventually you see where these shadows and torchlight is emanating from, and you see more than half a dozen robed figures with their backs to you, standing around the bodies of what looks like four people on the ground in Halloween costumes, like... They're not children, um, but they're, uh, you know, they're like adults dressed. Uh, one, like sexy nurse. Yeah, like, what sexy are the costumes? <laughs> is there a theme to yeah. the costumes? No, there's no theme. What are the costumes, Jordan? We just the call mid- them cosplayers now. It's fine. <laughs> they're, they're all Disney characters, just to be safe. No! Fret <laughs> 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 um, One of them is Moana. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they're not children. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all, it's like sexy Moana. That middle-aged man is dressed <laughs> like <laughs> Moana. There's four, there's four sexy Moanas. <laughs> No. Okay. There's sexy goofy, sexy, sexy goofy, sexy goofy. Sexy goofy. Naughty Pluto. No. <laughs> they're victims. They are they're laying on the ground. I'll say. And they seem to be positioned at equal intervals across the back of the chamber. And it looks like each of their chest cavities have been opened almost surgically. Oh, they're dead. Well, it's it's unclear from uh, the distance you are. I think it's pretty clear. We should ask yeah. the doctor. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> for myself, but uh, that's not a good sign. All right, so you assume they're dead. Maybe they are. You'll find out later. However, there is a... (laughs) These vampires are incredibly well organized. (laughs) You know what happens when you assume, Peter. (laughs) (laughs) There's a a thin line of blood coming out of the hole in their chest that seems to defy gravity and move through the air in perfect lines that all meet and then like go towards the back center of the room. And it looks like this, these bloodlines are creating some sort of force field against the back. There is definitely a, a, a visible in, or a invisible translucent wall blocking the entire back of this huge domed chamber. It almost looks like an old church. Uh, and then standing behind the force field atop a raised altar is Baron Mordo. Uh. And it looks like he's using all of his strength to to like concentrate on the opening of a portal on the back wall of this chamber. And right now it's just like this blue fissure that is growing by the second. All of these figures are oh, chanting blood coming out of all the bodies, creating this force field. What do you do? Now I use my spider sense. Yep. She, she <laughs> Hulk. Something's wrong here. Uh, yeah, something. I sense that something <laughs> is, is, is off here. Yeah. But mechanically, I'm doing it now because I had to look it up. Uh, you do do do. I have an edge on initiative checks and on my vigilance checks to perceive danger. I think this is pretty dangerous. And enemies have trouble on agility checks against my vigilance vigilance defense. And the character also gets a permanent plus two bonus to my agility defense. Very good. So the edge on initiative is going to be clutch. That means you get to roll your Marvel die twice and take the better. Um, so you have a better chance of going faster because you're reacting quicker to danger. Um, do you say anything to your allies? I think, yeah. In, in character, he would, he would like stop everybody and kind of like crouch low to the ground because his hairs are standing up. Uh, and he goes, we have to stop what they're doing. She-Hulk says, I got this. And she stops her foot on the ground immediately activating her ground shaking ground shaking stop yeah. power nice yeah. it sounds like we're going to a combat let's roll for initiative let's okay. roll for initiative roll 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 now, a couple things to keep in mind. If you do have a uh, power like uh, Sydney has and you have Edge, make sure to roll your Marvel die twice and take the better. Also, if you get a six, a Marvel on the Marvel die, uh, you get to act I in did. a surprise round or bonus uh, round. It's actually a one on the Marvel die. One, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I got it. I get to re-roll. Nice. Oh, nice. I've got nice that awareness. Oh, I'm pretty mm. good. All right. What did everyone get? We'll start with vision. Uh, I got a 13 initiative. 13 for vision. Uh, beast? 12. 12 for beast. Spidey? 10. Mo. Spidey got a 10. 13. Oh, is it a 13? Thank you. 13. <laughs> oh, my initiative. Sorry. 13. All right. And what about old Colossus? Uh, Colossus got 17. Ooh. Ooh. Cap? 13. I was checking my phone for speed dial for Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he really should be handling this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no signal one mile beneath the earth. <laughs> Vision, you got a 13 as well? Yes. Okay, so we got three 13s. A lot of 13s. Great. Uh, it's, it's Friday the 13th. It's hey! Perfect. She-Hulk. 14. Thank you. And I got, and I got Edge. Oh, yeah. I rolled a marvel. I rolled a marvel! All right, so you get to... Anybody else roll a marvel on the marvel die? No, I didn't. Oh, so this works perfect. So you actually get to do your flavor power here. Uh, So go ahead and walk us through what this power does. Okay, so this is called Ground Shaking Stomp. I make a melee check, and I compare it against the agility defense of every target within my character's reach, which I think if you're stomping a big thing underground, I think it could work, right? Absolutely. Uh, um, I will say that Baron Mordo is further back, and he's behind this wall, which you don't know what it is, but well, let's say all eight of these robe figures uh, could be affected by and it. It's, and within, pl- plus my rank. So uh, within my reach, plus my rank in spaces. Uh, any target that uh, of the attack that succeeds against takes half regular damage. Uh, on a fantastic success, the targets take full damage and are knocked prone. Woo, please yeah. don't roll that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to go home early. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good roll. I've got 11 on the die, and that gets me to a total of 16. Nice. All right, that does bypass all of their agility defense. Nice. nice. Yes! So that'll be uh, regular damage or half damage? That'd be half damage because it was not, I did not get a fantastic success. I was darn close. I got a five on my marble die. So that is uh, 40, no, so it would be, if it were full damage, it would be 45 points oh of damage. God. It's so fun. It's five times eight it's plus five. Uh, but <laughs> so, times eight? <laughs> oh, I should tell you, they all have DR2. So what is your uh, uh, multiplier? Ooh. My my multiplier is eight. All right, so now do times six instead. Do, okay, your so, damage multiplier is times eight? Yes. Your for melee, melee is eight? Why my melee let you be she <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're, that's going to be times six instead. All right, so that is 35, so that halved would be Six. 16. A gentleman 16, very good. And then we'll move into round 17. one. 17. 17, thank you. I like math. 16 better. I'm real good at math. <laughs> uh, all right, great. So now the combat has begun. Uh, they all turn, and sure enough, you're looking at eight vampires. Eight vampires. Colossus, you are up. Uh, Colossus is going to dom, 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 run across the room if he can get within reach of two of them that are, would be adjacent to me. Is that possible? Absolutely. All right, then he is going to use his banging heads ability. <laughs> uh, make a melee check against the defense scores of two of these guys. Uh, if it fails against one, it fails against both. Uh, but if it's a success, they both take full damage. Uh, do, 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 do. That is a that is a oh that's eleven that's uh, eighteen. Eighteen is a success. Okay, and they all have two dr. Yep, dr two. Okay, so uh, that is forty four points of damage. All right, so you immediately knock both of them unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yes. I wish Colts was here to see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after She-Hulk softened them up, you come up, grab two of their heads, bonk, knock them together, and they both fall to the ground. Uh, and just uh, checking, that's full damage, not half damage. Yes, right? full damage to each, yeah. Great, and now She-Hulk, it's your actual turn. Okay, uh, She-Hulk is also going to run across... Uh, to one of to one of our combatants, and she's gonna try to grab uh, grab one so that she could use a different power if she can grab it. Can anyone help me with how grab works? I'm having trouble finding that. I, th- I think melee it's... attack against melee defense. Yes, yeah, just okay. melee. And then if I wanted to, I could use a reaction uh, to try and escape, but then I would use my reaction for. The and turn. I think if you get a fantastic success, they're pinned instead yeah, of grabbed. I believe that's correct. so. Uh, so my melee attack for my my grab is uh, thirteen plus five is eighteen. 18, yeah, you grab one of them. All right, and then oh, I grab him, and when I can grab, I can do a quick toss, which means I could just throw him. I don't want to try to throw him at Baron Mordo's force field. Oh, okay. 
All right, so you run up to one of the ones next to the two that just got knocked out, grab them, and throw them like a sack of potatoes yep. uh, at the force field. Now, that, does it do a specific amount of damage? So I use my agility to, to hit it. It will do full damage to the guy I've grabbed and thrown, and if I do a fantastic success, it also does damage to the target. Okay. All right, so this is my agility. Not quite as high, but still pretty good. Woot. Uh, 12 plus 4 is 16. All right, that's a success. Awesome. So, oh, <laughs> this guy's so dead. <laughs> so the one I he's threw. A he's a vampire. He's already yeah. dead. That's true. He's double dead. Uh, <laughs> so that is uh, 34 points of damage against the vampire. <laughs> 34 points of damage. Okay, and you took into account the DR minus 2. Uh, oh, no, I did not. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I knew you didn't. I was just, <laughs> so 18, I was just nice in the 22, way I So it's 22 points of damage against that guy. <laughs> 22 points of damage. Okay, all right. So he hits the wall, boink, and just you see shimmers of light uh, go out from the point where his body hit, but nothing happens to the force. <sighs> all right, now Vision, Spider-Man, and Captain all tied with a 13. There is a, a, a way to break the initiative. I just can't remember. It's uh, initiative modifier. Mine's plus three. Plus three. Plus three. And then it's whatever you got on the Marvel die. Uh, now we, then we decide it's, amongst no, ourselves. No, it's whatever you got on the Marvel die is the next tower breaker. I don't no, it's, the no, it's first fantastic remember. success. Fantastic success is the first tiebreaker. Okay. So just go in any order you want. Vision, Spider, Captain America. Uh, I'll go because I'm just going to, Vision is just going to fly across all of the combatants and he's going to phase self and try to go through the force field. Oh, clever. Ooh. Just straight through it. Cool. I'm going to need... it's like sort of emotionlessly like floating through. I'm going to need a check. Give me a... Give me a resilience check to try and get through this force field. So even in my like ethereal form, it's, gonna, it's doing something. Yeah. Uh, Marvel die! Yay! Yay! Boom! Uh, all right, that's awesome. So that is a 19 on the resilience with a fantastic success. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you get through. Yes. All right, so you get yes. through. What does that sound like? <laughs> yeah, give me a sound effect. <laughs> That's Ooh. nice. Uncanny. That's cool. Ooh. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Vision, you speed past all of this stuff, past the bodies, past the sexy Moanas, and uh, <laughs> through the wall, and Baron Mordo is there, and he is concentrating on this ripple, which is now getting larger. As you phase through, he kind of turns back to you and looks and snarls. And as he snarls, it looks like multiple copies of him are starting to come out from uh, oh, either no. side. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Do you have any actions left or was phased through an action? No, he's just going to say, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> and that'll be the end of his turn. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Spidey or Cap? Spidey? Uh, no, I'll wait for Cap. I want to see what Cap does. I think sure. he stands down So uh, because everyone just burst into combat, I'm like, we might be able to par... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just goes into attack mode and I just do a slight sigh. I, there will be no diplomacy this day. That's fine. I'm going to uh, do a shield hurl, see how much damage I can do to this sh shield versus shield, if you will. Ooh. Ooh, shield versus shield. There it is. So that's our hurl shield is going to be blah, 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 10 plus. So 16 is my attack on the shield. And then is there any sort of damage modifier reduction? Uh, there is no damage modifier reduction on the shield. However, your shield just tung, bounces right off of it. Katang, right and then I just catch you. it back. Yeah. So it does nothing to it. Yep, does no damage to it whatsoever. Mm, all right. I, I guess with the remainder of my action, I'm just sort of going to move into position and keep an eye out for the other combatants. All right, so you slide in to back up uh, She-Hulk and Colossus. Uh, you want to swing in there, Spidey? Yeah, so laid out for me. So he's making, co Baron's making copies of himself within the force field? or no, they're he's like, like opening, there's a force field, and now Vision is behind, sadly for me. And uh, <laughs> Mortal's <laughs> focusing, like imagine a huge gothic church. He's focusing on the back wall, and there's this portal opening. You can see stuff coming through. And Vision, you actually see what looks like a figure starting to emerge, like a giant face, perhaps. However, um, Back to your question. What was the question? Who else is there? Are there still combatants, the vampire combatants? Yeah, there's still uh, six vampire combatants, the four bodies, and your, the heroes. And it looks like their blood is possibly powering the portal. 
Huh. Oh, not the portal, the uh, force field. The for- mm, okay. Um, Spider-Man would like to... He's going to swing in using his web swinging, and he's going to try to scoop the sexy Moanas and scoop them away from the portal to try to stop whatever like blood is feeding them. All right, I would say you can probably grab one of them. Swing, two, maybe like, two, probably. He's wanna... pretty, pretty athletic. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's see what you roll then. Why don't you give me an agility roll? And, and I uh... get plus two. Oh, no, I get plus two to my agility defense. Never mind. Okay, yeah. Let's see what you roll. Roll, roll good, and I'll let you know if you get a one or two. Mm. Well, that's, a, that's, that's an eight on the dice, um, and that's going to be my... That's ten on the die. Ten on the die. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney's doing but, Wait, math. hold on. The plus... <laughs> Oh, 17, 17 with my 17 ability. total. All right, I'm going to say that's good enough for you to be able to grab two of them. So you come swinging in and you swoop and you grab two of these Moanas and swing over to the other side. Moana squared. However, you notice that the blood that's coming out of their chest, that line remains unbroken going to the force field. So even as you pull them away from the force field, whatever's coming out of their body and defying gravity is unbroken. All right, so he scoops him and he goes, got him. And then he goes, oh, that didn't work. It's not working. <laughs> And then he drops them safely to the side, and then he runs back. What? They hit the ground like ragdolls. No, he puts them down safely. <laughs> uh, Beast, what are you going to do? Uh, first things first, Beast would like to do some sort of lo- a logic check, perhaps, to figure out what is going on with this portal and how we can disrupt it. A logic check. Yes, give it to me. What is your logic score? Uh, well, my logic is a six, but I, because I'm brilliant, I get a bonus on this. All right, oh, nobody likes a braggart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that'll be 17. 17. All right. So with your great mind, you imagine that if perhaps the bleeding on each of the individuals could be stopped, it may in some way interfere with the uh, creation of the portal. All right. So Beast will take one giant leap to who's left? Sexy, sexy, goofy, and, and, naughty, and naughty Pluto? Naughty, naughty <laughs> Wally. All right, I'll take a... Naughty Wally? Naughty Wally. The real work. Naughty Wally. I don't want to live in this world. It's <laughs> no, horrible. <laughs> it's Jeez, a Halloween parade later. Yeah, seriously. Uh, make they pick the four uh, most twisted people at the parade. <laughs> um, we have to go as Naughty Wally for our next week. <laughs> um, so I am a medical doctor. You are. Would you let me do... Could I do a help to help try to... Would that a help action to try I to stitch you've up You've already done your action. You've done your logic check. Is that an action or is that a free action? Uh, no action required is the heading right, I was I would say at. that's a free action. Here's what you can do. You can treat one of them with Great. a logic check. Okay. So you run up to them, one of the uh, ones that the rag do- that ragdoll on the ground after Spidey threw him. And to keep myself honest, I'm going to keep, I'm going to say this is in combat. So even though it's not a combat logic, I'm going to not give myself the bonus. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Uh, okay, that'll be a 16. 16. Sure enough, you're able to suture the wound, and this blood for the coming from this one victim stops. And you can see the portal start to change, perhaps, in color, but it's still fully there. Uh, but now there's one less, like, trail of blood leading to it. You're awesome. awesome. Oh, Don't worry, madam. Good. You're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they're dead. <laughs> Peter. Bedside manner. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, miss. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately now, for you guys, it is the vampire's turn. So let's have some fun with these vampires. At first I was like, do they even have vampires in the core rulebook? Am I just going to have to like roll out a bunch of Morbiuses? But no. Vampires are in the core rulebook. Hey. Oh, 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 we have oh, vampires. Oh, we got We have vampires. <laughs> so I'm going to have uh, the first one is going to attempt to grab Colossus. It's probably going to be tough. I imagine your melee defense is pretty it's good. Pretty good. Um, but this is going to be a pretty good roll. Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Yeah, that just gets me. Just gets you. All right, so it's going to grab you, and then as its reaction, it is going to try to leech life from you. Oh, from no. His, from his steel skin? Yeah. He doesn't. Well, I thought you said you're wearing a, a jersey. I am. I was in New Jersey. <laughs> is that in New Jersey? All right, so here's what happens. Uh, I can do this reaction if I have you grabbed, which I do. So this is going to yeah. be an ego attack against your resilience defense. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Um, and I rolled really poorly. I Good. rolled four, five, six, seven against your resilience defense. Uh, yes, I have a 17. So his fangs break against my metal <laughs> 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 
All right. <laughs> and he will uh, never nice bite try, again. Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say vampire number two goes after She Hulk. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 against your melee defense. Uh, that is a fail. My melee defense is 14. All right. Another one will try and also fail. And then one is going to come after you, Cap. That is 8, uh, 12, 16 against melee defense. A uh, melee? That's exactly what I've got. But I also have a reaction. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> Where I can bring my shield up to deflect oh. right across its face. Yes! Oh. That's awesome. So I that's going this. to actually uh, give me da, 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 reach focus point. The enemy has trouble on their attack, so you're going to reroll your best die. Nice. Oh, oh nice. awesome. Cool. All right, I rolled a six. Oh, so it's still high still, enough? It's still high enough. Oh, um, but do I take damage from this? Is it more of a flavor thing? Like you try to get that Yeah, up. I try and bring the shield up, but he's like going right through. I'm wearing chain mail and he's still able to get through. All right, well, Dan, now it's going to be uh, ego attack against your resilience defense to see right. if it can start to leach life from you. Uh. Uh, ooh, oh, that is a fantastic... Oh! oh. 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 Possibly a fantastic Whoa. success. Uh that counts as a six, right? Yeah, six, yes. 10, 11, 12 against your resilience defense. 12 is uh, against my defense? Yeah. So my resilience defense, defense is 13. Oh! Oh! oh, there was something fun that was going to happen on but a fantastic, fantastic It is fantastic. So. Chain mail. That's right. Chain mail. That's right. That's right. Got that right there. Maybe they like right. the taste but of that, the chain mail. Doesn't that count as the... Oh, it's fantastic no matter what. I don't have to hit the target number? No, you, no, you still do. You have to target number. But, you, you, but something it, good but can happen. But you fail forward. Oh, something good. It's a fantastic failure. It's a fantastic failure, yeah. in me or something like that. Yeah, uh... Uh, we'll say that you maintain. He still, he's still grabbing. I'm like you. crushed on top of a sexy goofy. I'm all like, <laughs> <laughs> one comes over to try and uh, grab Spider Man. Good luck. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine. Yeah, ten against your melee defense. Zing, zag. He's just zigging and zagging. He, you can't get his slippery little, <laughs> slippery little body. <laughs> his slippery little body. What, what so is I wrong with you? I wake up every morning and I'm like, look at that slippery little. Body. I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Sexy Spider-Man. <laughs> That's right. Spider-Man. Uh, all right, so that is, uh, that is the end of the vampire turns. They were useless. Uh, however, there are still five of them there that will be a pain uh, with all the stuff that's going on here. Now, Vision, you're back there with Baron Mordo, and you see five other Baron Mordos emerge, and they all are kind of standing in and around the same space, and you no longer know which one is the actual Baron Mordo. So many Mordi. It is a po- power called... <laughs> Multiple Mordi. Images of Icon. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Do you know about that one, Nick Lowe? Oh, yeah. It's a classic strange spell. The Images of Icon. <laughs> images of Icon. We'll go to round two here. It's Colossus's turn. Uh, Colossus is going to try to grab the vampire that just attacked me. Okay. All right. Oh, fantastic success. Oh! Uh, that is a 17 total. Yep, that is a fantastic <laughs> success. Okay, so he's pinned, actually, I think. Yep, that's uh, right. Nice. And then this is, uh, oh, I like the move you just did, Miss Walters. I try to. He's going to throw, he's going to do his own quick toss with his reaction. Well, uh, before you do those, Skid, I think this is so cool. And Shield says, uh, this is oh. actually Shield talking. Colossus, that is so cool. I don't think you can just roll normal dice. I know you might not think you're rolling dice. I think you need to do something a little more special than that. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> to do a move that cool, you have to Oh, my gosh. Oh Gigantic dice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. No. You're just hitting people. Why are you hitting strong. people? He's too strong. He's too strong. Oh, no, oh. no, stop rolling. Seven, eight, nine. Pretty nine. good. Uh, that, is a, that is a 15. Um, this is damage, right? Or is this a no, agility? This is, this, is, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the throw. Uh, this is the throw. Yeah, yeah. that's the success. Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. All right, <laughs> yeah, so they... Giant dice! Okay, uh, so they both take half damage. Nick's so happy have right the, now. The marble die was four. <laughs> And they have they have DR as well, right? Yep, DR two. So you threw okay. one at another one. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that is uh, th- that's uh, fifteen. Uh, that is twenty points of damage each. Ooh. Twenty points of damage. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Right. Sorry. <laughs> it's like a Gallagher it's a visceral show. experience when you're in the Marvel <laughs> Universe. Thank you all for Thank for you. bearing with us Thank through you. that. We're gonna smash watermelons at the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> you're in the splash zone. All right, She-Hulk, you are up. Okay. Uh, 
I am going to use one. Of the, how many are, are they all still standing? Oh, yeah. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six vampires still standing. How many are within my reach? Uh, two of them. Okay. I'm going to do one of the coolest things I've ever heard of in here. This is called an unrelenting smash. <laughs> okay. I make a melee check and I compare it against the melee defense of every enemy within my reach. Any enemy that they attack succeeds against takes half regular damage. On a fantastic success, those enemies take full regular damage and are knocked prone instead. And then there's more, but we'll see what we'll see how that goes at first. But okay. wait, there's more. All right, so here it goes. Come on, this better be good. Uh, not quite fantastic, but a darn good roll. So that is four, uh, 14. I switch back to my thing. Uh, that is 19. Nice. 19 is a success. So they each take half damage, and they're the minus two, right? Up to yep. there. So that would be 35. So another 17 to each of them. Okay. And then... And are you attacking ones that have already been hit or two that haven't been hit? I'm doing the two closest to me. So one that I've... Well, I threw the one that I first hit. So probably one that maybe one of the Colossus threw one into. I got you. Okay. So the, one of them is going to be knocked out, and then one of them is going to be pretty badly hurt. Okay. And now I may then pay 15 more focus points to do the same thing again, <laughs> before which they can, I can move up to half my speed. Oh, this which is unrelenting is, smash? Yeah. That's really awesome. So, so that's, I, and half my speed is six spaces. <laughs> Uh, and I can keep doing that until I run out of speed or focus. Yep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I'm gonna wow. so I'm gonna move to the the next set of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, not fantastic, but still pretty good. That is uh, that is fifth, uh, sixteen. That's a success. All right, and that is thirty-five more. Another five. So seventeen. Uh, so, so yeah, so half seventeen to each of them as well. Okay. And can I spend 15 more and try to do two more? Spend it all, man. Keep Let's it going, it. dude. So that's, that's 30 I've spent. Use it or lose it. Woo, another oh, so close Lord. to fantastic, but not quite. So that's 13, 18. Holy jeez. Oh, yeah. And another 17 to each of them. <laughs> I'm just going to hang back. Yeah. So now you're starting Burn. to hit the first guy Burn. again. Yeah. Yep. Just yep. relax, everybody. And I might even spend 15 more if that's okay with you, Troy. <laughs> yeah, Have you not run out of speed? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've had to move that far, have I? Fair enough. Right? Uh, one more time. Pretty good. Uh, that is 15. 15 is a success. All right. Wow. And that one is 24, 29. So halves is 15 to each right, of them. So you managed to take like four more vampires. Yeah. Wow. Oh. She Hulk. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, yeah, so now there are only two vampires still standing, and one of them is pinned by Colossus. Uh, but now it's Vision's turn, and Vision, you're back there with six Baron Mordos. Yeah, so remember, he just floats through this, this force field, and then uh, looks down, sorry to interrupt, and then wham, 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 all these images come out. He's just going to, from, uh, from the diadem on his head, just... This like solar blast hits the area and it just goes go 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 go. I mean the entire area underneath all of the images is just lit up with this energy. And it's just like boom and it shakes the earth. Whoa. So uh, I'm going to make an ego check against his resilience defense, and it targets any creature in the a 10 space area. Alright, so, so that it's would like be the entire correct. area behind Baron Mordo, the thing. you'll catch in there if you make right. this check. But it's a hard check. Like I don't think I'll actually hit it, but I, that's what he would do to against try to Against resilience interrupt. defense, you said? Against resilience defense. I have no idea what this guy's resilience defense is going to be. Oop, bad roll. That is a nine. That is a Ooh. failure. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I was, yeah. I, I, knew it, I, I knew it would probably be a failure. I needed a good roll. Okay. Uh, but it's like, boom. So you do that, and maybe they all just, like, jump very softly and land. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah, yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems to not work, and now he's starting to, like, try to work out new things to do. He had to spend 15 focus to do that, and he'll think about what to do. Well, um... I, yeah, I want to see if he should move. No, he's going to stay up there, hovering up in the air. Okay, hovering up in the air in this chamber. You just blast the floor. All the Mordos did a light little jump, landed on their feet. <laughs> I imagine you're hyper aware. You see behind you She-Hulk just choom, 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 choom. Yeah, that's why I was like, going to fly back through the thing, but I'm like, they got that under control. And unless I see that they can't get through the force field, I'm not going to change anything other than focusing my attacks. In my the mind, all the Mordos did the river dance. Like, they all did the jump. <laughs> 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 like, very, very classy. The portal continues. 
continues <laughs> opening and you see a larger and larger face start to emerge and you realize who's coming through the portal. Who is oh, no. It's Dormammu. Oh, oh Dormammu, no. The dread oh, my Dormammu. God. Oh, no. Pass. Oh, no. Why didn't we get Doctor Strange in yeah, this? Not yeah, not good. He's uh, voicemail went straight to voicemail. <laughs> that means he you left. don't have service, Captain. He's it's not a... even in this dimension right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did he leave you on red? That's right. <laughs> That's why Blade's in Pittsburgh. Um, it's a whole story. Captain America, what do you do? So the vampire that had me pinned just got decimated by Shulky, right? Yeah. Yeah, just, so I just sort of stand up like that was the plan the whole time, of course. Uh, I'm going to try, we've still got these people whose blood is powering this force field. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try and assist them as best I can. I mean, I've got like military training and things like that. It, can I, how many people are within reach of me? Can I sort of try and staunch those wounds? Yeah, you could, you, you get one of them with a logic check. Okay. To try and like do a little combat medicine. Sure. With a logic check? Yeah. Got it. Oh, I rolled really good. So 15 plus uh, two, so uh, 17. Nice. 17. That's a success. So you're able to awesome. uh, use your, your nice army cat. training. Don't and worry, soldier. You'll fight another day. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. Just a guy with a goofy mask. That? that was goofy. That was, <laughs> that was goofy. goofy. That was goofy. <laughs> you stitch him up, and no another one of these bloodlines uh, stops feeding the portal. The portal changes in tinge. Yet again, you think if you can staunch two more of these wounds, you might be able to go help Vision. Perhaps if we staunch just two more. <laughs> Beast is like tying off a tourniquet on the fur, on the fur, on the sexy right. uh, sexy Wally. Who did I go with? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty Wally. Sexy Wally. <laughs> like, on it, Captain. What does that even look like? Uh, Spider Man, you're up. Uh, Spider Man looks at uh, Captain America and he's like, "I'm on it." And he runs over to those two bodies that he gingerly put on the ground. <laughs> and I would like to spend ten focus to do my web trapping. Yes. And I just like zip them up with two webs and stop the bleeding. It's all he knows how to do. Oh, interesting. All awesome. Right, so the two other ones you want to try and shoot two webs at them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you miss, um, it's going to be it's real It's like awkward. super gluing, a, super gluing a wound instead of stitching it up. Yeah, here's, yeah. Here's what I'll say: you can do one without trouble, or you can do two with trouble. Because it's really meant to do one at a time. But it's cool. Well, I want you to be able to do something cool. But I'm going to say you're going to roll trouble. Technically, the character fills up to five spaces with sticky webs. So, But this is a, a unique rule to staunch these wounds. Yeah, you're, okay. not, you're not trying to suffocate them. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus, we're showing off the mechanics of the game. Right. Is that what we're doing? By using trouble. Okay. I... Give me some, give me some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you just roll your marble die twice and take the lowest. Okay, all right. But when B sees what you're going to do, he's going to use a reaction. Oh. oh. I, have a, I have an ability called change of plans. I'm like, oh, no, Peter, make sure you suture this way. And uh, whenever I'm carelessly the trigger is an, <laughs> an ally has trouble on an action check, and I can spend five focus to give them an edge instead. Oh! Whoa, that's awesome. Oh. Punch, counter that punch. That's really cool. That's Whoa. just fun. All right, so roll twice and take the better now on the Marvel die. Okay. Oh, well, I think it just evens out. Yeah, because then I... Oh, yeah. Trouble no. versus edge. I don't even yeah, have to roll for the... It, it, it removes out. the trouble, it's essentially. one roll. One roll. Beat the check. One roll for everything. It. How dare you try and show those what am I trying? What am I trying to beat? <laughs> How dare you? Um, I have a target number. <laughs> I roll the Marvel on the Marvel die. Yeah! Yeah! What's the total? Hey, fantastic. Uh, that's Marvelous. a 13. What, what am I adding? My agility or my... Your agility, logic. right? You're shooting webs? Oh, I, yeah. I guess. Uh, so it's a 13, my agility... Yeah, you made that's it. A, that's a 20. 20, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> nice you suture both of the wounds, and Whip the force you. field comes down. Yes. yes. Shield is winded. Nailed it. This Baron is Thanks. done. Thank you. Thanks, Doctor. Done for. Doctor, uh, Mr. Doctor. Miss Beast. Doctor, Mr. It's, it's Doctor. He salutes you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Call me Hank. Oh, yeah. Are we on first name, first name basis? My name's Pete. Oh, no, don't. What? Don't my do it. Is, um, <laughs> my, you can call me man. <laughs> or spider. <laughs> Whatever works. He tries to go on his phone, but he has no service. Ah. With a mile, a mile down underground. No, yeah. <laughs> Even Verizon thought carries maybe, down here. Thought maybe MJ was going to text me. I don't get service in you the You don't have to worry about who that is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to walk over here. And he like, walks over there. The Javits Center is also a mile beneath yes. the earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> currently. No Beast, service. you are up. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Spider-Man has... Uh, I don't need to perform surgery anymore, which is great. So uh, Beast will kind of like all go on all fours and gallop into uh, where the chamber where ba the Baron Mordos are facing off against Vision. Uh, and then I will 
use um, oh yeah okay I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use my fast strikes ability Ooh. so I'm gonna split my attack against uh, two of them in hopes that I can maybe hit one of the real ones. good old bouncing okay. beast oh yeah uh, okay so I make a single attack uh, a single melee check and compare it to the two targets melee defenses on a success I can basically split the damage between two of them okay uh, go for it okay Marvel on the Marvel die. Yeah, yeah, man. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so what was the total? 17. 17 against melee defense? Yeah. All right, so that hits. Now uh, roll Ritz. two D6s and tell me what numbers you got. Okay. Six and six. All right, so uh, you destroy two of the images. Oh, oh nice. 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 Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so now there are a Ooh, total of... Fascinating. Let's see, there were six, so now there's <laughs> four Mordos. One of them is the real one. Those images just immediately disappear. Fordos, even. <laughs> there are <is> still <laughs> two vampires left. Uh, one of them is currently gra- or pinned by Colossus. No, I, they're prone because I threw them. Oh, you threw them. All right, so, so uh, he's going to stand up and come running... Uh, Back at you, Colossus, just okay. because uh, he's mad and just miss horribly. Uh, and then the other one is going to come after you, Spider Man. Okay. Uh, and that is going to be another miss. Four, five, oh, six, seven. I know terrible. that's going to be a miss. But now it's Baron Mordo's turn, and he's got some cool powers. Vision's back there, and Beast is back there. We got little bolts of the ball fuck, maybe little flames of the fall dead. <laughs> <laughs> Miss of Muno Bar. Um, so many fun things to choose from. All right, here's what I'm going to do. What time is it? 542. Let's do. <laughs> How do I kill everybody as quickly as possible? That's so meta. Um, I'm, targeting the, I'm going to do uh, bolts of the ball thock against Vision. Ooh. All right, so all of them like shoot at you and you don't know which one it's coming from. Cool. Uh, this is going to be an <clears throat> ego check with edge against your agility defense. Uh, and that is a marvel on the marvel die. Oh. So this uh, is probably going to be a fantastic success. Um, 16 plus. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Dude, you just, rolled 16 on the three die? Yep. That's good. And it's going to be a 24 total. So oh, a fantastic wow. success. Oh my. Here we go. On a fantastic, on a success, an affected target takes that total damage. I'll get to the damage in a second. On a fantastic success, an affected target takes double that damage oh. and is stunned for one round. Oh! Uh, you look up stunned. I will do the damage here. Do you have any DR vision? I do. What is your DR? Minus three. Wow. DR three. That's pretty yeah. good DR. Pretty good uh, DR. Right, I think I'm going to need it. Ego attack. My, it's my ego uh, multiplier was times eight. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So now it's going to be times five. That's, That's 38 crazy. times two, 60, 76 points of damage. Oh, man. Yeah. 76. Oh, my. 76 <laughs> points of damage, oh, and you are wow. stunned. Oh, wow. oh so, I mean, I guess he just knocks him out of the sky. Yeah, so I'll just say, boom. Just, boom, and he just like hits up against this old stone wall and just collapses to the ground. And by the way, he's oh. almost at zero. Oh. Stunned. Any powers the character is concentrating on end immediately. They cannot take any actions, and all attacks against them have an edge, unless otherwise specified this lasts for one round. Yeah, wow. so he hits the wall, hits the ground, this stone kind of shatters up around him, and he is out. Basically out for one round. Uh, out wow. for one He's just round. like starting to move to like put his hand down and try to start to get back up, but it's gonna take a whole round to do so. Yeah, and actually, you could if you weren't stunned, you could spend a karma point on your turn to get some health back, but you can't because you're stunned. Ooh. It's brutal, yeah. brutal. We go to a new round here. Uh, the vampires are under control. There's still two left, but now Baron Mordo is blasting, and there's a portal opening. With Dormammu walking through. <laughs> Colossus, what do you do? Uh, so the Ooh. vampire that just ran up to me, I am going to try to do a crushing grip on them. That is a 17. That's a hit. Okay. So, yeah, so he basically, like, boom, he, like, closes his hand around this thing's throat, and he just, and he just crushes it. Uh, that is... 20, that is tw- 22 is half of the damage. Whoa. 
Okay. Wow. Does that kill him? Uh, that does kill him in one. Okay. So he pops. So he's, so he's holding his limp vampire body there, and he turns to the other one. He says, make peace with your gods, little vampire. You are next. <laughs> <laughs> She-Hulk, you, oversee, you overhear this and see one remaining vampire. The other one just popped in Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> so She-Hulk, she's like, oh, I forgot that I have to spend so much focus when I do my special moves. <laughs> so I just recently did this math, everybody, and I only have 15 focus left. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. So I'm going to... You s- did take out all of the min- basically all of the minions <laughs> in did. one <laughs> turn. Almost all. So I'm going uh, to use a karma point. I'm going to try to gain back some focus, okay? Uh, so you can use a karma point. You do a resilience check to beat 10. That beats it. And now it's nine, 14. I multiply that by my rank of four. So let's see who does math. 14 times four is 40, 56. 56. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. I can do math. All right. And, and so that is, my, uh, that is my action. And she's like, whew, she takes a break. What it looks like, she's taking a break and catching her breath like, my cousin, my cousin make that looks, makes that look pretty easy. But <laughs> Colossus, that looked pretty easy, too. Oh, yes. No, you looked good when you were doing it. I don't know who your cousin is, but um, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's your round? There, that's my know? turn, yep. And then it would go to Vision, but Vision, you're stunned. Ah. <laughs> and uh, now Captain America, it seemed like this was under control, but Dormammu's coming. Right. I'm going to charge directly at Dormammu. I've got my shield in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to ram him back through the portal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. ah, love it. At least that's the plan. <laughs> and I've got, hold on, melee with, oh, geez. That is going to be 18. That does go past Dormammu's melee defense. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I will say he does not have damage reduction, oddly enough. Oh, wow. What? Um, wow. But he really? is a rank six hero. Ah, you no. guys are rank four, and that is a huge difference. Yeah, sure so is. Like as in, does he not take any damage? Oh, no, he'll take damage. Oh. Um, Give it to me straight, Cap. Okay, so I just rolled, so I rolled the... Six. 16, and I get... Six times, times five, five plus five. Yep. Or plus six. Yeah. So hold on. Sixteen times five. Or six times oh, five. Six times five. So thirty-five. Thirty-six. Or thirty-six. Yeah. yeah. Thirty-six damage to a flaming faced fool. <laughs> to a flaming faced All he sees is this fool. shield just imprinting on his forehead. Right there. I can see this so well. Just moments ago, we saw you running from the Upper West Side through Midtown Manhattan. <laughs> now you're running through the subterranean chamber and you just jump and boom, Ka-ding. hit him with the shield. So, so if you know Dormammu, you know his face has like stripes on it. Yeah. That star just hit them stripes. <laughs> That's right. Boom. Stars and stripes, Stars and baby. stripes. Stars and stripes. <laughs> Uh, as you hit him, you notice that like not only Katane. is he emerging through this portal, he is growing, growing all the way to the size of a house. Oh, oh, no. No. Uh, so he is enormous and ta- now taking up the entire back wall of this subterranean cathedral. Kating Spider Man, what are you going to do? This is a this is a uh, quite a foe for a. Street level Spider Man. Like yeah, you. I think Spider Man. Like again, just it's the slow turn around, and he goes and he looks and sees the back wall, and he's just like, "Oh no, I'm gonna miss Halloween." <laughs> he then turns around and casts a web to that last remaining vampire with his uh, web casting, and so he grabs it with the web, and he's just gonna yank him back and smack him against the wall. Oh, a little pull. Okay, yeah. I like that. Awesome. So agility against my agility defense. Cool. Uh, that's not great. 15? 15's good. Oh, yes. nice. Your okay. agility score is high enough that you're pro- probably always going to hit. And now, is, does this have any special property, or you're just you're literally just pulling him into a wall? I'm using it a little differently. If it hits, though, they're paralyzed. Ah, okay. So they couldn't be paralyzed, but I also just wanted to deal them damage. Okay. All right, go ahead. I could just paralyze them, but I really wanted to hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the score is on your marble die, just use your agility multiplier. And oh, it was then, a two. Um, and, but minus two to that. Minus two. So it's two times three uh, plus five. Anybody in the audience? 11. 11. Thanks. <laughs> really, no help there, guys. Uh, all right, so you grab him and you swing him against the wall. He takes a little bit of damage, but he's still up. And now it's Beast's turn. 
Okay. Lise, you're back there oh. with uh, four Baron Mordos and a house-sized Dormammu. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, actually, can I just, can I, is there something I can do is to take a quick look at these Baron Mordos to see if one looks particularly more real than the others? Uh, more tangible? Sure. I mean, they are identical images, um, but maybe, you're, maybe you'll catch something with a really good roll. Logic check? Yeah, sure. Vigilance, typically. To, Vigilance? Oh, yeah, that's vigil- like perception. That's like your perception. One of them's got a little right. twitch or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do the same thing. Fast strike so I can hit two of them at the same time. I like it. Uh, okay. Uh, not bad. Do, 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 do. 16. All right, 16 against his melee defense. That is a hit. All right, so now roll two dice. If you roll a uh, three, you'll hit him. Okay. Ooh. Five and two. All right, Ooh. so you knock out two more images, and there's two Baron Mordos. One is real, and one is fake. Uh, this is kind of great, the way this is working out, because it keeps him in the fight a little longer. And now it is the one sad remaining vampire's turn. <laughs> you just hit him with a web, and he comes right back after you because they have not done Is he paralyzed, though, or no? No, because you said you were going to do damage. I thought day. I could do both. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Probably a miss. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus two. Two, 13 against your Big miss. Yeah, Big I mean, miss. they are just uh, bumbling uh, mooks. <laughs> um, and he just runs off and goes to start a family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a family of vampires. A yeah, family of vampires <laughs> in Alphabet City. And, I'm going to pitch uh, that book. <laughs> That's right. And now we go to the top of round four. It is Colossus's turn. Okay. Uh, per Nick's suggestion, I think we're going to do a team maneuver. Yes! yes. Uh, which is, yeah, no, we're going to do a, uh, we spend whatever the focus point is. What Usually you're supposed to like uh, pick whatever the maneuver is going to be before you go into combat, but yeah. we're going to do that. So you want to do the damage reduction one? Well, I, I was thinking we either do, if, uh, the, the offensive one we do, we can all re-roll our dice on any attack they make this round, Ooh. and they get the better result. And then we all and we all have to spend the focus cost. That's yeah, we have spend ten. We each have to spend ten focus. Sure. Okay. This is your team maneuver. You yeah. team here? maneuver, baby. Right. And we have to call out our our team catchphrase. We're the yeah. good enough. We're the good enough. Yeah. Like, We're the yeah. Good, yeah. Enough. Go, go, We're good, good enough. We're good enough. For you. <laughs> good enough. We may not be blade, but we're good we're enough. Good enough. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's it. Good That's enough it. for uh, me. All right. So yeah, there's there's three different ones. You guys are choosing the offensive one, which yeah. means you now all yeah. get to roll twice and take the better. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. Great. Uh, so then he is going to charge. At this little, there's one vampire minion, yep. right? He's going to charge at the vampire minion and try to like smash him against the wall. Uh, and I get to re-roll. Uh, awesome. Okay, that is an 18. 18's a hit. Okay. And do, 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 that is uh, 25. That is 32 points of damage. Yeah, he was running away. He was actually running away. <laughs> oh. And you like, not so fast. <laughs> Smash him against the wall. I told him. And now he is just I a told him he was stain. next. Uh, all right, so all eight vampires have been dispatched. All four uh, humans in Halloween costumes have been sutured. The force field is down. There are now two Baron Mordos, and Dormammu is the size of a house. It is Dormammu's turn. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh no. I hope you guys I'm have like fun. I'm like actually scared. I hope you <laughs> all have fun finishing the combat without me. <laughs> uh, let's start with something called Hellfire Chains. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> the character summons chains covered in Hellfire and can use them to bind or smash targets. Let's go after old beast. <laughs> oh my! This is going to be this an sucks. ego attack oh. against your ego defense. Ooh! Uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. How so. proud are you? So, but it is a even though it's an ego attack, it is an actual physical object that's attacking him. Yeah, these ch- these chains. Uh, Great! These I'm like, going to use my reaction maneuver to throw my shield in between. Yes! Oh, cool! Yes! I, uh, Ooh, I can spend it. my focus to basically give him my damage reduction oh. in addition to his own. Wow! With my shield. Oh, whoa! Wow. Yeah. Ooh, so That's that'll huge. that'll be a lot less damage if it hits. It will be a substantial less damage. Yeah, it's a vibranium adamantium alloy shield. Sure is. <laughs> Okay, and does that automatically give him the DR, or do you have to roll uh, against... To, to spend five focus... Uh, hold on a second. Damage reduction. I think I just spend the five focus, and I basically, yeah, send, sort of throw it toward in, in between the attack. Awesome. All right, um, 17 against your ego defense. That hits. All right, so you will take... Uh, you, you have any other DR that's going to go... I have DR1. DR1, so DR. now it'll uh, be... But now you have an extra DR4. Oh, so I have DR minus five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so you will take uh, 27 points of damage. Oof, man. Wow. Man, you are really lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. What would happen without that shield? Yeah, that oh wasn't bad. Gosh. On a fantastic success, you would have been grabbed, and then the chains can start like just inflicting oh. damage, like Jeez. fire damage. Oh. Uh, so the chains come out, hit you. Luckily, Steve Rogers throws the shield. Yes. Block. Thank take you, a Captain. Little less damage. <laughs> it bounces back. I can't. Yeah. It. <laughs> the synergy of reactions in this game is what it really makes it feel like a comic book. It does. Uh, it's, it's cool. Very, very cool. All right. So now it is She Hulk's turn. Okay. So She Hulk looks up at Dormammu, and then she looks out to the audience, to be like, "I guess I gotta go fight that guy." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she is going to run. And she's going to smash Dormammu. She-Hulk smash! Smash! Yes. Bam! Okay. Uh, and so with smash again, I make a close attack with edge. And for this attack, I can add plus one to my melee damage bonus for every two points of focus I spend. Uh, and yeah, so then we can see if it's a fantastic success or not. I've got an even better thing I can do for you. Oh, once boy. per combat, Captain America, because he is the leader of the Avengers and you're a good friend, <laughs> once per combat, I can spend 10 focus. You automatically get a Marvel die. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Captain and it America. cannot be affected by trouble. So just roll those two other wow. dice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's and awesome. I, and because of our team maneuver, I can roll these twice to yeah, get higher can, oh right values too. Right. All right. All right, yes. let's do it. And I think I'm going to spend several sets of focus to really up the damage on oh, this exactly. one. You only have so much I, left. Burn it. I, I'm going to do it all. Burn I'm going to do it all. I, got, it all. I think I have 61 left, so, oh, oh, oh. so I'd be multiplying by an insane amount. All right, give okay. me the damage. Here you go. Uh, Not multiplying. You're just, just adding, I think. Reroll the two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. reroll the two. Roll two. Oh. So nine. So that, is, so that would be 12, uh, 15... I'll get back to my character sheet. So the, to hit, it is 20. 20 is a hit. Woo! Right. Fantastic. And uh, so let me just make sure I get this right. Uh, I add plus one to my, uh, plus one to the character's melee bonus damage for every two points of focus I spend. So just I add. Okay. So, yeah. so, that, oh, okay. so that is six times eight, which is 50. No, that's not true. 48. 48. Thank you very much. <laughs> Plus plus ten uh, plus five would 53. be fifty two fifty three. Thank you. And I'm gonna <laughs> spend six all of my remaining sixty one focus points yes. to do thirty more. And then you double it all. And I double it all. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a crit. fantastic success. Right, yeah. That's right. It's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my god. <laughs> so Captain America <laughs> plus She Hulk equals end of encounter. Yeah. Teamwork I makes the dream work. This I, is just, awesome. I said hit him in the star spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you basically do another one of your jumps like you did to get down to Prospect yeah. Park, but you jump straight at him and just punch Dormammu in yep. the face. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, I do the thing where you grab both hands and like. Smash right on it for 160 I, points of, of damage. And so I here's smile at the camera. You use all of your might and you punch Dormammu in the face. And as you hit him, he just and he's the size of a house. So you're like <laughs> hitting him on the nose, and he just like Dormammu wham. has no nose. He's got like just a where a nose would there's be. There's a star right there though. <laughs> you hit him right there, and he wails so loud that the entire cathedral shakes and like <laughs> chunks of the ceiling start falling. The power is so great that Baron Mordo, who was no longer Longer concentrating on the portal, but still linked to the portal, is like ah ah ah, and he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dormammu gets Dormammu yes. gets punched back into the portal. Yes, awesome. yes. And we leave that scene. <laughs> oh, can I do one thing there, Troy? Can I, do, can I do one thing real quick? So I spent all my focus. So she hooks exhausted. She gets a, enough steps to put her hand on her forehead and fall into the arms of Colossus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and as she, as she, right before she passes out, she turns to the audience and gives a little wink. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of our show. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, we are the Glass Cannon Woo! Network. Check us Woo! out at glasscannonnetwork.com. And please go buy this book. It is absolutely it's fantastic. It's the best. It is awesome. Thank you Thank for you being guys. here Thank at New guys. York Comic Con. Yes. Thank you, Thank guys. You Thank you.